Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we are doing a field test for the Alta container ship. If you've been following my videos, you know that we went through the process of getting all the mechanisms up and running and all that good stuff. And now it is time to do a field test and make sure that the ship itself can work. So this is partially a tutorial and partially a test of how to load a container into the bottom hold. The ship is currently out for my uh, Discord server boosters and for the Golden Anchor Club. So they're going to be doing the tests and reporting any bugs and all that good stuff. And hopefully this creation will be out soon for you to enjoy. So first things first, you want to hop aboard here and we'll run up to the bridge because first I want to start up the engines which are going to prevent the power from draining because it can automatically kick on the um, generator mode and then we're just going to hold the left arrow key and bring the ship into the dock or into the pier as much as we can. Now because the weight is kind of offset, the... Um, meaning the front isn't loaded. The uh, thrusters don't quite work fully, but you see here that we've now moved it out and it's gonna just take a second and push itself back out. And now what you'll wanna do is have the uh, position hold via thrusters. That's gonna prevent the ship from moving out into sea when we start moving the cranes around. So this is kind of the first step they'll wanna do. Once this is kind of done you can kind of hear your engines on and that's fine we can go down to the deck and the first thing we want to do is release this um, the tug now I actually did some adjustments to the tug you'll notice that I changed this display and the reason for that is to ensure the best uh, ability for it to move your containers and I'll explain that in a second if you don't get up the ramp right away you kind of just have to uh, push around a little bit, like turn the, uh, air, the uh, A and D, move the st steering around. And now you'll want to turn on the roof connectors. Then you can go over here to this crane. We'll fire up the crane and turn on the tug mode and then drop this and it'll be pit lifted. Now, as we move this onto land, the ship will start to list. So the ship does have an automatic stabilization system in, in, the, in the, kind of like how it has these propellers in the bottom. So it will try to balance itself out. But I still do recommend putting the crane over top of the ship when it's not in use. So you can see here the hull's pushing out and then pushing back in. So that automatic uh, position hold does help a lot with this. Anyways, you'll want to keep the balance kind of over the ship. Otherwise, your ship will be straining to keep up. Now we're going to try to jump all over here and we hop into our little tug. Now you can turn off the roof connectors if you want. But what is important here is now that there's two buttons, one for the container, which turns on these back connectors, and one is for raise, which raises up the back connectors. So it's no longer one system, it's now two systems. And the reason for that is because in some of my field tests, I found it very difficult to tow the trailer until the trailer was lifted or lowered. So now you have the ability to do both and you don't have to disconnect the thing. So then we put down and we're backing up to it and eventually it connects. And now that it's connected, we can put it in drive and start to drive. Now, if we press raise, oh, wrong button. Definitely want to be careful of that. So make sure container is on. Now if we press raise, it'll raise it up slightly and I added some weight to the front. So hopefully it does help us to steer, but really steering becomes an issue because we were towing this very rear heavy thing that does not have wheels. So obviously as this goes, it's not really the best configuration, but it seems to work. So you get this over here next to your uh, crane and once it's here positioned up properly you can disconnect it and then drive this tug just out of the way for the time being and then you make your way back to the crane once you turn on the top connectors now in the crane we'll turn on the container mode 
and you raise this above the container and then you could actually use the arrow keys to position it as best over the container as possible. Now the camera in itself is kind of in the uh, center here near the light so you won't really know when you're above the container perfectly so you kind of have to keep a sight line of your container and kind of do that there you go now it's on and of course now if we lift this the ship will very heavily list and of course like i said the propellers do kick on and it tries its best to make up for it but what i do recommend is to as quickly as possible get this over top of your ship it is a slender ship meaning it's not very uh, wide and that's for speed so you do want to keep your center of gravity in line as often as possible so now that this is positioned here we could actually bring it down and put it right here the reason i do want to put it here rather than in the front is because we're going to move our gantry crane out here and also so we could open up the hatch so we'll move this out of the way meaning up and then we go here into our cargo hold where you could now open up your door now remember how I said it may take a few times, there you go, it took twice, and it's now open and opening up. Then we hop into this chair and turn on our CCTV as well as our gantry crane and pusher system. Now first we'll start off with the gantry crane and move it into place. Now we turned on the top connectors of the container, but we did not turn on the gantry crane connectors just yet we're going to wait till we get this thing over top of the container now this is dead center in the middle so once we see that little connector we know that we are in the center of it and then you can go to the deck camera and kind of make sure that you're aligned with it and when you're all happy you can lower this and turn on this and now it's connected so on the outside view it looks like this and we could raise this up and bring it back. Now, of course, it will slightly sag, so you do have to keep pressing the up arrow every once in a while because there is, you know, a good amount of weight on this system. And once we're over top of this area, the bay door, you could now lower this. And soon enough, you'll see the container make its way down into the room. And we'll just leave it here. And now we could disconnect this system and bring this gantry arm up for the next container so now that that's in place we turn on the pusher so we turn off the gantry and on the pusher and then if we go to the pusher camera you could see that it's not in line and now it's pretty much in line and then once we turn on this you can see that it connected to the trailer the, to the container and now we could use A and D to move this around into whatever bay it is we want. Now if we want to load a second container up, you want to put this off to one side. Just be careful that when you do this, your weight will inevitably shift on your ship. Also, you want to bring your pusher back into its resting position. Because if the pusher is out there, when a container comes in, you'll have a tough time getting around it. Whereas now, it's back in its starting position, in kind of in its cradle. And we make sure that this is off, so that is now good to go. So if we do want to load a second container up, now would be the chance. Obviously, you see that we do have this kind of wonky uh, load. So I do recommend if you are putting in more containers, you have two at a time at the dock with this little tug before you start loading because now we're leaving our ship loaded like this and the problem with that is if when it gets a little too li tilted or listing these propellers will kick on and inevitably it will start to drain your battery quite quite quickly so you want to avoid you know having the battery drained out obviously but now would be the time to get that container and there you have it so now we're going to be loading on the second container for the bottom hold so again you want to get it on the center as fast as possible and lower it on down now clearly there it hit the gantry so you got to be careful not to do that 
there you go. We'll re lower, uh, you know, disconnect that. And in this case, we could bring our gantry. Now, because we know we loaded this side, we even could lower this and position it a little more on this side. And the nice thing with these, a bit, the ability to move this around is we could actually make sure that it's perfectly in line with where the gantry crane will come. So in this case, now that's pretty much in place. So if we run over down to the gantry controls, you'll be able to pick this up with relative ease. Obviously you have to use your proper camera system. And you see that we're just about centered on it and that's just about centered. And then we could use the various cameras here and then lower and turn on that. There we go. It's connected and now we could bring it over top of this big bay door and start to lower it once we kind of clear the threshold. And then again we'll end up using the exact the pusher in the exact same way. So this will lower it into the hold and then we'll disconnect it and bring up this uh, gantry. Now that it's up and out of the way, we can turn it off, go to the pusher, align the pusher with the container, turn on the connectors, and then shove it into that back left corner. And of course, right now, that container isn't even connected. And it was that, that was actually my mistake. So once this is in place, you'll want to turn on these. So bay 1 and 2 are on the top deck, so we don't need that right now. But bay 4, which is the very far back one, is what we do want. So left, there we go. So that container is now connected. And then we have to turn on right as well. And we could push that one in. And we don't even have to connect it to the container. We could just shove it in like as we did. So there you have it. Now we've loaded two containers. And the process just repeats itself. You just do it this same way. And yes, it's not auto loading in a sense that it doesn't load itself and you just sit and watch but i'm not a fan of creations that are like that i actually like to have to you know put in the effort and make it kind of work so anyways there you have it that is how you load these containers up it's fully plugged in here and there are little stoppers but if this thing had a door like if if it was the oma one that was a office that you want to walk into you still could because there's space all around it so that is the video on how to load this ship. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the final creation, the final release. And as always, happy stormworksing everyone. Until next time.